The settings were actually quite difficult. So if you think of Paul's own experience, he's in the midst of his imprisonment. He tells the Colossians to remember his chains and he speaks about his toil and his labor in the gospel and his suffering. And so here he is in prison, but he's continuing to do ministry and writing these letters and, and also in witnessing to Onesimus, uh, which led to his conversion. And then when you think of the church in Colossae, which is over in modern day Turkey, kind of in a remote area, it, uh, it was facing a pretty difficult situation as well in that they had come to faith, but then there were, they were in danger of this false teaching and they were in danger of people who were trying to take them captive in certain ways and to kind of bring judgment on them and lead them like away from the hope of Christ. And then you look more personally at Philemon and Onesimus. Philemon was a member of the church in Colossae. Maybe the church even met in his, in his home, uh, maybe he, in his household. And Onesimus was, uh, was a slave of Philemon who had probably run away uh, and perhaps had stolen something in the process. And there was a, a deep estrangement between the two. So the circumstances were pretty difficult, but I think, you know, often these are the kinds of circumstances where the hope of the gospel is able to be stated in a sharper fashion, in a more clear fashion. And I think Paul's, Paul's aim in doing this was to explain the hope of Christ more clearly. For the Colossians, he wanted to warn them away from this false teaching that would take them captive and lead them away from Christ. And then for Philemon, it's a really interesting letter, perhaps Paul's most interesting letter, that he, he writes it in, in a way that, that recognizes how difficult the, the tension was between Onesimus and Philemon. And he's able to navigate that, that difficulty in a, in a way that encourages Philemon to welcome back Onesimus without without kind of forcing him or commanding him to do that. So he's able to kind of walk that line of, uh, of recognizing this is a sensitive issue and yet reminding him, what, what does the gospel call us to here? It calls us to welcome one another. It calls us to embrace one another and forgive one another as the Lord has forgiven us.